What's up, Grand Star Legion? It's your boy, CDROM1019, and today I'm bringing you Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, in glorious high definition. Today, uh, we're gonna begin a first of many episodes in this uh, long playthrough of a game. Um, I never really counted down exactly how many hours it takes to defeat or to finish this game. Uh, we're not going for 100% completion, but today we're going to do something really cool. We're going to begin the journey of uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door in one of the most interesting and quite possibly rewarding ways to play this game. Ah, so sit back, relax, kick your feet up, and let's begin the journey of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door as told by Danger Mario. Alright, let's create ourselves a save file here. So, fun tip, by the way. Um, <clears throat> one of the interesting things that comes in around Chapter 3 of this game is we meet the Yoshi. And uh, avid Mario Thousand Year Door players know that um, the Yoshi can be different colors. Um, and that, that uh, depends on a variety of factors. What you might not know is that you can actually predetermine the color of your Yoshi with the name of the game file. So if we do this correctly, we'll call this file green, and again, if done correctly, we will have a green Yoshi at chapter 3. So uh, don't quote me on that, I'm pretty sure that's how it works, but we'll uh, find out uh, several episodes from now. Eh, well, not several. I'm going to try and knock out one chapter per episode just so we don't make this like a massive, massive playthrough. Um, after all, there are a lot of games to get to at the Grand Star Legion, so let's get going here. It's our buddy Parrot Carry from the first game. Mail call! Starts the game the same way. Exact same way as the first game. It says Peach is here. I hope you guys are fast readers. I kind of am, and I'm not going to... I don't know if I'll read off all the dialogue. So according to Peach's... Uh, and we also skipped the opening cinematic just because it's, you know... I'm pretty sure everybody knows the story of this game by this point, but... Uh, Peach is on holiday. She's traveling the Mushroom Kingdom. She came to... She came across a mystical map at the town of Rogueport. Um... And, uh, she couldn't send, uh, she couldn't send something, so she sent the map to Mario and said, come with me, uh, or come meet me here. I'm sending you the map, so that means you absolutely have to meet me here. So, we have the Rogueport map. And, uh, interestingly enough, it's not just a map of Rogueport. Actually, well, I mean, yeah, Rogueport is there, but it's, uh, a map of Rogueport's surrounding areas. The weirdest map I've ever seen, that's for certain. <clears throat> Might be one of the tiniest boats I've ever seen, too. So, I'm sure that, uh... Well, actually... Alright, here we go, we're beginning the prologue. I'm sure that a lot of you, uh have already played this game, maybe, if you're like me, maybe you're several times over. Um, I've lost count of how many times I've played this game. Um, but, uh, you probably also like seeing, uh, people play it on YouTube. Uh, for instance, the Game Grumps, they finally finished this. Um, but, uh, I'm not gonna, there, there's a lot of things I'm gonna avoid just for the sake of not wasting your time and testing your intelligence. Um, I'm going to avoid just speaking to every random person. I'm pretty sure I have a decent idea of what I have to do at this point. Um, but uh, what I might end up having to do here and there is reminding myself that I am doing a Danger Mario run, and that requires uh, several things. 
And uh, I'm gonna warn you, if you've never seen Danger Mario play through before, you're probably gonna cringe a lot. Um, this isn't by any means speedrunner stats, but um, a lot of what goes into Danger Mario might be a little unsettling if you're a casual player. Chances are you are a casual player. Right, he's telling us that uh, this is a bad place to be. He doesn't know why he wanted us to come here, but uh, we're here. So we got a princess waiting for us. Okay, off we go. So I'm not going to bother saving yet. There's nothing save worthy. All right, we are immediately met with our first partner, Goombella, who's being uh, pursued by Crump. Specifically because she's asking about the crystal stars. <clears throat> well, let's go save her. I like how she immediately tries to use Mario as a meat shield. Alright, we're thrown into battle without being immediately told how to work this. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Alright, let's do it. So, let's also see if we can activate our stylish moves right off the bat. We can! So, if you didn't know what stylish moves are, stylish moves are helpful, like, after we're hit deep into the game. They generate, uh, they generate a lot more, uh, well, they get the crowd going, basically, and that generates a lot more star power. As a result, we're able to use a ton more star power moves instead. So, you're gonna see me, <laughs> you're gonna see me using, uh, stylish moves an awful lot. Um, honestly, it, it serves a couple purposes. One, it's just fun to do. Two, it'll generate a lot of star power. Three, it keeps my thumbs warm. Uh, so, you know, if you've ever gamed with cold thumbs, you know that's that, that, that's not fun for anybody, so... Oh, look, our super guard works right off the bat, too. And he's down. <laughs> Alright, she's telling us when we get 100 star points, we get a level up, and we just got 9. <clears throat> um... <laughs> it's go time. Punish him! So, Danger Mario won't come into play immediately. Um, this'll, uh... For the foreseeable future, we're probably gonna be playing as if nothing's wrong. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Alright. Those idiots lost track of us, so let's go into the town of Rogue Court. And he just noticed that we're gone. Stupid, stupid x knots Johnson, do you see him? <laughs> Which one's Johnson? Thanks. <laughs> Studi... So, this is Goombella. She's a student at the University of Goom. She somehow doesn't realize that I'm Mario. <laughs> Just got to Rogueport, and, uh, you know, Rogueport's kind of a dump. But we're here because of some sort of legendary treasure. And she says, oh, you're looking for that too? Cool, let's team up and, and look for it together. It's like, oh, hey, what's that map? That's the treasure map. Wait, where did you get the treasure map? Mario says Princess Peach gave it to him. Oh, hey, look, it's Toad Stew. What the heck is going on there? Jeez, look like some gang war stuff over there. The boss sends his greetings. How's that road taste, punk? And yes, I'm sure you've heard this before, but this quite possibly might be the darkest Mario game there is. I mean, look, there's a noose right there. They didn't even try to hide that when they localized it. So, uh, I don't know. A lot of people have made that observation. Yep, 
Peach is gone. We don't know where she is. She probably got kidnapped again. Toadsworth is worried. But Mario's here, so that means Mario does all the work. Yes, yes, yes. He's telling us that our heart points are low. We can go to the inn to, uh, to regenerate. Alright, Goombella tells us that uh, she didn't know that Peach was here, but Peach already got kidnapped by whoever. Um, Goombella tells us uh, that has already told us that she's trying to find um, find the treasure too, but uh, she says, "Hey, let's go visit our uh, one of my professors. He lives in the city and he's researching the treasure, and maybe he'll know what to do." Yay! Goombella's now part of the party, and we're gonna get a primer on Goombella's skill. Pressing the X button using Goombella uh, it will give us uh, information about where we are. And we can also use her uh, information ability when we're next to somebody. Like this Goomba right here. For instance, that's Goopther. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. Goombella can give you hints when we ask. She's got a head bonk in battle, and she can also tattle. Uh, you might have already heard one good strategy for battle, tattle everything. Um, that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Um, tattling nothing is basically a bad idea. So, right off the bat I'm gonna go the wrong way, and that's only so that I can activate this scene right here. This is Zesty, she tells us that she's missing her contact lens, she, she dropped it, she's trying to find it, and she tells us not to move. But, not moving is stupid, she'll never find it, so we're gonna move just for my own entertainment. I'm not just, just gonna not, or, wow, just for my own entertainment, I'm not only gonna move, I'm gonna do this. Whoops! <laughs> so we stepped on the lens, um, she demands me to, demands I compensate her, Mario disagrees, and she blocks the west side until we pay her back. So now that that's happened, I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to tell the shop owner that we need to buy a contact lens. And Goobella's outside the store somehow. I've never seen that happen. Of course, he's going to say the kind that we don't have a contact lens, but he can uh, he can order one for us. All right, so he's got the, the so now that uh, the game has registered that the contact lens is special ordered, we will return there about two chapters later. Bell is telling us we should save. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, we've saved. Onward! Alright, we're immediately gonna get mugged here. And, yes, he stole 50 coins. And, yeah, that kinda sucks. But, we're gonna go get those back. Um... Just letting him go without getting those back is just kind of dumb, honestly. Thankfully, I believe he always goes to the same place all the time, which is this uh, raggedy little back house right here. All this trash. Hey, give him back. Thanks. Bye. Okay, now we got our coins back. go back over to the east side of the town and notable over here is that this is Gus he's blocking the entry we can get past that for uh, by paying him some coins kind of stupid to do that now we're also gonna beat up on him later just so we can get him out of the way um, but it's kind of a bad idea to do that right now so we're gonna talk to as Dan Avedan from Gang Grumps like to lovingly call him Mushroom Bernie Sanders He's like, hmm, that's familiar. Oh, what, what's your name? Oh, 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 I can't remember. Oh, that's right, you're Goombella. It's in the archaeology class. All right. La 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 la. The guy behind you is, I don't know. It's Mario. Doesn't know what's hip. In any case, we're bringing you here. Hoping you'll be able to tell us about the legendary treasure. 
course. I'm here studying the legendary treasure. Why do you want to know? It's probably just a fairy tale. We have to figure it out. We really want to know if it exists. Well, we'll cooperate as first as we can. First of all, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Folks say it's actually a monster. We don't know if it's an empty chest. Many different theories. We all agree on one point. You have to have the crystal stars to find the treasure. And we have to bring it to the Thousand Year Door. Hold the magical map along the entrance. And the stars will light the way. Legend says the door is beneath the town. We don't know. We don't have the map, but we do. Mario has the map. Let's show him the map. That's the real map. You're my hero. You can find the crystal stores by going through the door. Alright, let's head to the Thousand Year Door. Gate comes off, kind of just swings off. Um, for the sake of time, I'm going to tell him I know all about my action commands. I mean, I definitely know all about them. I'm sure everybody watching has a decent handle on how action commands work. Um, I don't want to waste anybody's time by having him tell me how the tutorial works all over again. Hey, look, there's the Goomba Trio. They're already hitting on Goombella, and she says, Hey, that's totally cute, but no, I'm not going out with you. That was cold, so now that they got dumped, they're going to attack. Wow. Pro tip, folks. Assault is wrong. Sexual assault is worse. Boys, don't beat up on a woman because she said she didn't want to go out with you. That just makes you even more of a slime ball. All right. Yes, yes, I know that. All right, we're gonna throw Goombella up first just so we can get a tattle out of the way. Double tapping right there uh, on success will get you a stylus or a stylish. Enemy number one is the Goomba. Yeah, we already know how that works. And the Goomba's dead. Whoops. Ah. Wow, super guarding is hard. Spiky Goomba, enemy number three. And he is dead. There we go, there's a super guard. And we'll tattle one more time. <clears throat> super guarding, you can super guard by tapping B right before you get hit. It's uh, great because it turns the damage against uh, the enemy. A little harder to time, but it's worth it. Alright, they're gone. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Frankly's telling us that we can get a we can get an early jump on the battle by getting a uh, a first strike. We're gonna go over here and down this pipe. All right, we're gonna go over this way. We're gonna try and first strike that Goomba. I don't know about you, but when I play RPGs, a good strategy is to kind of just attack everything that moves. Get yourself a decent amount of start of uh, level of level up points, and we're gonna want to level up a decent amount. Um, the uh, by the time we're done with the game, we're gonna try and be at level 31. Although I don't know how likely that is to happen, but uh, you're gonna be pretty surprised with what you see, um, uh, assuming that I do all this correctly. We're going to be updating, upgrading our badge points a lot. Mushroom, that helps. All 
Also, in case you're wondering, stylish moves are not per are performed. They are not performed with any button or stick, any button, any other input besides the A button. So that's right. Even you can do stylish moves. All you need to know is when to push the A button. All right, we're gonna go over this way. That was a little puny. We're going to see uh, the punies in Chapter 2. Whoops. Well, that's unfortunate. I wanted to tattle that thing. Yeah, we can tattle it later. Well, we can tattle this one. Whoops. Alright, we're gonna tattle one of these spinsters. It's a spinia! Enemy number 47. Alright. We'll get some Kumbella action in there. I missed the stylish on that move, that's a little tougher to time. This make some stairs appear. So we'll just go in here first. Uh, let's see, there's a chest here. I need I need a key for that chest. Um There's the key, right there. Now we can go over to this. We can open uh, this black chest here. He's like, hey, there's something inside the chest. He says, hey, can you hear me? If I can hear you, I must be the hero legend. Only the hero legend can hear his voice. He was cursed by an evil spirit, locked in the box, waiting for the hero. Why is the hero here? Uh, frankly, says something's not r right here. I can hear the box. Uh, with the voice in the box, we should tell him we didn't just, we're not looking for the crystal stars, but he just said it out loud. He's like, oh, well, wait a minute, if you're looking for the crystal stars, you're definitely going to want my help. I need the key. It looks like that. Alright, let's open the, let's open the thing. It's like, hey, we opened it, and it's like, fools, oh no, it turns out that the evil spirit was locked in the box. And he's going to reward us by cursing us. And we're cursed. What kind of curse are we experiencing? Well, whenever we go over this, uh, this panel here, we can turn into a paper airplane. Oh, how terrible. And now we can control ourselves. Yes, I get it, it's terrible. Alright, so now we're cursed. And now that we're cursed, we can take this paper airplane panel over here. Alright. And lo and behold, the uh, inner sanctum where the thousand year door lies. Frankly says, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We actually found the thousand year door. We didn't know it to be true. If the thousand year door exists, that means the legend must be true. Wonder what the pedestal does? Let's stand on top and find out. Standing on the pedestal activates the pedestal. Funny how that works. What's going on? The map starts glowing. And we're gonna get the location of the first crystal star put on our map. Castle in the distance, and that is where the first crystal star lies. All right.
right, we've got it recorded on the magical map, and now we can use star power and use the move sweet tree. All right. Yes, yes, yes. We should go back to Frankly's lab. The light we saw in Mario means that we can use a special move. I already know how it works though, so we're not going to see it work. Looking at the map, he says that the map has a radar-like function, and he says that the first crystal star is out someplace in Petal Meadows. The truth is that it's not in Petal Meadows. But uh, we can go to Petal Metals to get some more information about getting into the castle where the first star actually is. Before we leave, frankly ask, where do we get the map? We tell him Princess Peach sent it. That's what Peach's looks like. So, so it is her. The princess came the other day. She wanted to know about the treasure. We told her about the crystal stars and Petal Metals. We don't know, but she has, perhaps she went to Petal Metals on her own. Alright, and we gotta go off to Petal Metals to get to the Crystal Star and to perhaps find Princess Peach. Professor, uh, frankly, is not coming. He's not. Gonna, he says he's not going to be of any help, so he's going to stay there and do some more research. And with that, we are off. Hmm. Oh, but before we go, Frankly has one gift, a gift for us of one badge, a Power Smash badge. That'll be very helpful. No, don't tell me how to how to put it on. I'll use it myself. He also tells us that uh, we need to use Flower Points for special moves. We're going to turn that badge on right now. All right. Equipped with all this, we go back down into the Rogueport Sewers. And this time we're gonna go this way. And we're gonna curse fly over this way. Hmm, I don't remember this being here before. Let's hit it. Well, that's not good. We've just angered a giant blooper. It's the one time we can do it. We absolutely do not want to miss it. Max HP is 12. Attack is 1. Defense is 0. Alright. We're going to take out the tentacles first, or at least we're going to try to. No, I'd rather not. Well, I probably should have just guarded regularly. Yeah, alright, so... Super guarding here is actually kind of tricky. So I'm just going to normal guard. There we go. Whoops. I totally mistimed that. Power smash you here to do some extra damage. Four stylish moves right there. Okay, he's upright, but uh, we get to head bonk him one more time. And the blooper is down. And he's gone. 
Okay, now we're gonna move this way, making sure to take uh, care not to fall into the water. And here it is, the pipe that'll lead us to Petal Meadows. With that, we begin the journey out of the prologue and in to chapter one. All right, that does it for now, folks. Thank you for watching the prologue to Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Be sure to check out the other videos on the Grand Star Legion YouTube channel and the YouTube Rangers forums. Until next time, I'm CDRom1019, and I'll see you next video.